The opinions expressed on the EFNet News Report may not reflect those of Jason Bandy or associated PP4L Productions. EFNet News cannot be held liable for any DDoS, doxing, or life ruin that occurs related to the cast, or any damages as a result of the opinions expressed. Please exercise discretion when listening. If you feel angry after hearing the cast, you have been trolled. Die. In the name of Jesus, I take care of you! Make EFNet great again. It's a dope fucking newscast, man. You are now listening to the EFNet News Report with Jason Bandy. Jason Bandy here with another fucking macbook pro microphone recorded shit because i just tried to use my microphone that i just fixed and made that song with and it's fucked again so probably gonna have to purchase a microphone with the lovely patreon supporters money that helped make this podcast possible anyway season two episode two fnet news here we go so after lrh vote uh that was mentioned on last episode Effie ended up getting to stay, but as it turns out, Effie turned up the autism and bothered load enough to get banned. We all knew it would happen, but if you do need F Snable in your life, please go join Pound Stress. Thread dropped by LRH again to call me a liar and say that no one takes my word at all. He tends to refer to everyone and all when referring to just really his own opinions and That being said, I strive to report accurate info, and all info reported were directly from logs of Thread himself. I fear his opiate addiction may have made his memory hazy. He has alleged that the Wormsec hack is fake, and his box was left untouched because his IRC is still intact. (laughs) Right, so Tony from IRC Bar doesn't hate FNet News anymore, and Wicked Mama actually removed Tony from Facebook. She was last spotted by Jungle Man. What, Jungle Man? Apparently, uh, actually, she was on posting a picture of her vagina and complaining that her boyfriend would rather play PC games than fuck her. And you can find her right now in Pound Ryzen News on Ryzen where she's complaining about her period being late. Perhaps she's pregnant again? Numerous pumpers are working together to debut penis pump coins soon. Most of the investments picking backing on uh, the surge of Ethereum. But we'll keep you uh, up to date as more things progress. This shit's real. Right, so Dwayne left Cool Chat a while ago due to Insect constantly harassing him, and since then he hasn't rejoined. This has stunned Sal and Insect, who both tried to organize a meeting with Dwayne, and he hasn't agreed and remains detached from the channel. Vapor also left Cool Chat due to the endless empty memes such as Stop, Don't, Stop the Crosstalk, and Stop the Slander. Expanding on the oil shit bucket situation mentioned on the last episode, Dwayne explained that when he got rid of the shit, he dumped the OSB towards his neighbor's house. Eventually, they noticed when all the plants were dead and there was a path of death from the oil and shit river mixture. Mike Jones, who? Mike Jones was trolled into quitting his Worms game that he was hosting. He was again, uh, he was playing against a sick team of Brazilians. Vapor led on that he installed Worms finally and was ready to play and Acid Vegas convinced him that he was hosting. Once Mike figured out that he was being trolled, he quit Supernets forever. There's a new news team in town over on Ryzen. Feel free to support Ryzen News as I already mentioned. They'll soon be releasing a drama filled newscast so uh, join over there and take part. Ooh, Slimer news. Slimer was pulled by his cock on Snapchat. It's rumored he was being pulled by Angie. His pubes actually look pretty well manicured this time. I've seen Slimer's cock a lot lately. Right, sports news time brought to you by the best bird in the house, Raven. Some say RC has the most dedicated sports fans in all sports. It's for this reason that we here at the Sports Desk have decided to come up with an award for every FNet News segment. We'll call this award the Poor Sport of the Week. Poor Sport of the Week! This week's award goes recently to the, uh, or to the recent new op in hardball, Chato. Ch- 
Chateau strength of his win this week comes on his solid approach of banning anyone who doesn't agree with his opinion. Most recently, he got into an argument with CMA, and while CMA had valid points to support his argument, Chateau wasn't having any of this and immediately banned him, then passed out on his white pleather couch. Congratulations to Chateau for being the first recipient of this award. In other news, Snoop, another op over there, lost a series of large $2 wagers in a row and took out his frustrations by taking over a popular FNET gaming channel. Order since been restored and Snoop is no longer welcome. I don't know what channel that is though. It'd be nice to know. Ah, a little bit of news there. So, uh, you know, FNET news, just bringing you the short ones because I've been told to do short episodes. That's what everybody can handle. I think I need some help with the news though. Send some email to fnetnews at gmail.com. Hook me up on the, uh, you know, the Patreon thing. Send me a little cheddar so I can do shit like fix my microphone, buy diapers for my kid, wash my balls with cash, you know, pp Pharrell on Twitter, all that shit. Anyway, uh, last segment we got here is Sal with the weather, of course. So we'll end on this note with Sal Roker, the best weatherman in the world. Hey guys, just walked outside. Uh, breaking news out of Phoenix. We're about to get hit by a hurricane. Um, it doesn't look very good. I see habooms on the horizon. Uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen or I'll be alive tomorrow, but um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll talk to you guys soon. Wish me luck. Back to you, Jason. For more EFNet, For more EFNet, EFNet news, news, follow Vapor on Snapchat as Smiggy999 or on Twitter as PP4L. Beam and Recon!